Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be testing the Mountaintop Electronics 2-Tube GI-7B. Um, this is a really nice desktop package. This is made in that, uh, I think they call it the BS2 case from ICA Manufacturing. Uh, you have, as all my boxes are, pretty simple controls and adjustments. At the top left you have a plate voltage meter. Um, underneath that you have your plate current meter and you have an on and off switch and your operate switch which has AM sideband delay and standby. The LED to the right is a red LED. This box has auto start so when you turn the box on as I already did a couple minutes ago um, you know the box will go through its start cycle it'll turn the filaments on and it'll turn the blowers on. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, it turns the blowers on and uh, warms the box up and it counts down automatically for three minutes. At the end of three minutes during the warm-up period the red LED will illuminate and then it'll go into the step start and it'll you'll see the high voltage come up and then click over all the way after like a second or two. Um, you have tune and load for the plate side. The input tune is a fixed input tune. It'll cover the whole band. This box is pretty neat because you have a couple other fantastic features. The most important one being this one has sockets. So if you need to replace the tubes for whatever reason, oh, there you go, step start just came on. I don't know if you heard that, and the red LED is on, so we're ready to transmit. Um, the tubes have sockets in them, so you can, if you ever had to replace them, just turn a box off, let the supply discharge, ground it out, undo a clip on each tube, pull out the new tube, pull the old tube, push the new tube in, you're done. Um, very simple tube replacement, you don't need any tools to do it. Uh, on the back, it has all smooth sides of the box. This is the air intake. It blows across the, sucks across the power supply to keep that cool. Pressurizes the cathode cabinet, then forced air cooling like a big boy box. You have dual, dual centrifugal blowers mounted inside the case. Nothing hanging off the outside. Nice and smooth, it'll fit anywhere. I think this box is 18 inches wide, I think. Connections are always very simple, 120 volts. Ground lug if you determine you need it, in and out. Just a nice clean 2 tube 7B. These amplifiers, um, I tell everybody you always want to set your carrier power to about 25% of whatever your maximum PEP is. The GI 7B can very reliably produce 600 to 650, maybe even 700 watts PEP. Just depends on how you want to run it. You could even do less, but I would recommend 12, 1300 watts, maybe 1500, you know, it depends on what you're doing. Um, so normally I tell people try to give it, you know, a 30, 40 watt carrier or something like that. You'll probably wind up with um, something in the neighborhood of like, you know, like a 400 and something watt carrier on the output or a 300 watt carrier. Um, if you do a 300 watt carrier, 1200 watts PEP, with 150 watts PEP of drive will work great. I use a two pill 2290 to run this box um, with a single final radio, runs great. Um, so I'm gonna raise the tripod up and I'm gonna show you the bird meters. And uh, I might have to retune and load the box, I don't know, but we'll see. Um, the meter, let's turn that so you can see it. This is a 250 watt meter in PEP and we're going to be looking for about 150 watts PEP drive. Let's bring that up a little higher so you can see it. Come on. Okay. And the meter to the right is the output meter. That's a 2500 watt slug. So we're going to be looking for, oops, let me bring that up again. Um, we're looking for 150 watts on the top left. So that'll be the five is 50. That little line before the five is 25. So we're going to be somewhere between those two. 10 is 100, 15 is 150. Uh, so let's set the drive. I'm just going to put the driver on. And we've got a carrier of like 30 something watts, 35 watts, something like that. And PEP, let's see here, we should be at 150. Yep, 150 watts PEP. Okay. And let's put the box into transmit. 
And let's see what the uh, output of the box is. This is a 2500 watt scale. So I'm expecting about 1300 or so. Okay, we're at a little over 1300 watts PEP, 13 something. With, I don't know, 140 watts or 150 watts, something like that. Just touch that. There you go. 150 watts of drive, and we're at just about 1400 watts. If we increase the drive, let's say we go to 175 watts, we're at a little over 1500. If you do 200 watts of drive, you'll get a little over 15, maybe 16, 17, just depends. But 150 watts PEP should get you. 13 to 1400 watts. Uh, look at the carrier. That carrier will give you, I don't know, 400 and something watts right there, carrier. And if we go down and look at the box here, we are at, what do we got here? 450 milliamps. And let's look at the modulation. So at 1400 and something watts, we're pulling a little over 450 milliamps, somewhere in that neighborhood. But box runs great. Um, I don't know what else to say. Very, very, very simple amplifiers. You know, just tune and load for maximum PEP, and that's all you got to do. Here it's nice and quiet. Not a very loud amplifier. I love the desktop design. If I turn the drivers off, that's just the two pill fan. I don't know if you can hear that box just humming along. It's nice and quiet. And that's it. 120 volt plug in the wall, 1300 plus watts out. You only need 150 watts PEP to drive it. And that's it. That's the mountaintop electronics, two tube, GI7B with sockets, with auto start, and with a step start, you're probably not going to find a better 227B box. This box is actually pending sale right now for a gentleman. Um, uh, if, if the sale doesn't go through, uh, the price of this box is $2,000. And, you know, we can ship it anywhere you want. I, I UPS these things. We foam pack them, double box them. And uh, shipping is, you know, it's a little expensive. But, you know, I can, uh, I don't want anybody to get a damaged box. You know, nobody wants a broken box when it comes from UPS. And let me tell you guys, when you guys start shipping amplifiers and stuff, uh, be very careful um, how you package them. I always recommend double boxing. I always recommend using two inches of rigid foam around each layer because, man, UPS, I think it's their job to destroy amplifiers. Um, this amplifier is not even that heavy, guys. I think it's, you know, 25 pounds, 30 pounds. It's just, they're not that heavy. But uh, continuous duty power supply, this has a 600 milliamp continuous duty power supply. Um, don't know what else I can say. It's built like a tank. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.